hey Facebook so I just went live with Jim Moray you can see that there are several uh, news channels here talking about this shooting and so right now I am standing in front of the location where the uh, incident occurred I'm gonna turn into a uh, little news reporter come on Jim say hello <laughs> I'm on Facebook. Would you just say hi to my Facebook people? Yeah, hi. I'm Jim Moray from Inside Edition. I just interviewed uh, Cheryl, and uh, and she has some great insights on on what protocol is for police officers and, frankly, for citizens as well. So listen to her. Bye-bye. See you later. So anyway, this is where everything happened, and this is the shrubbery where the officers... Um, where the officer got into it with the children and understand that this is actually four or five houses away from where the officer lived. And so now the family that lives here in this home also is um, in jeopardy because their home has been vandalized. People don't understand that this is not where the officer lived. And so now they too may have to relocate for a few hours, a few days, or maybe move because these young people are misinformed and believe that this is the house where the officer lived. This is just where everything occurred. And so listen, this was something that didn't have to occur and I am in um, total disbelief, but thankful that uh, no one was hurt. And to the family of that young man who stood up like young men should to protect the honor of the female uh, in his company who was talked to in such a disparaging way by that officer, um, you would want to get a good attorney right now because guess what? Don't expect an apology. Police departments only understand one thing. So go ahead and hit that Anaheim LAPD lottery and take care of your college tuition. See you later. Bye-bye.